now, Voyager 1 is the furthest man-made object from the Earth. It's so far away that today, scientists are arguing about whether or not it's left our solar system completely. How far exactly? Bloody far. Over 18 billion kilometres, to be precise, and it's pushing on at over 61,000 kilometres per hour. Miraculously, six of its original 11 instruments are still working, and NASA seems to think Voyager's plutonium-powered battery will keep the probe going until around 2025. When Voyager 1 does eventually stop working, it will keep travelling out into the deepest reaches of space, a tiny beacon in the dark pointing the way back to a little blue planet called Earth. And to learn more about it, we're talking to science reporter Simon Pampina. Simon, is Voyager 1 like the Toyota Corolla of spacecraft? You know, it just keeps going and going and going. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, a, it's an awesome piece of machinery. NASA did really well with this. They should be proud. Uh, it's wonderful. This is like a historic day for science. The fact that something that we built, little humans, some things we can't get right, but we've got the Voyager 1 spacecraft right and it's, uh, it's leaving home today. Simon, it's at the very edge of our solar system, yeah. but what's Voyager 1 going to face when it leaves our little corner of space? Yeah, not much, I don't think. Uh, <laughs> no, seriously, it's like uh, we did the calculations and it's like uh, it's been travelling for 35 years to get to the point where it is right now and it won't encounter anything remotely closely for another 38,000 years. Well, should it come back, Simon? Uh, who's going to pay for it, Husey? <laughs> right, <good point. laughs> it shouldn't come back, it should just keep going. It's done so well to get to get to where it is right now and uh, and you know like um, it's pretty good that it's kind of left home at 35 because I went <laughs> I went to school with some guys and they they haven't left home and they're 40. Now, so my favorite part of it is the gold records which have human sounds the greatest music we've ever made for aliens to hear but the best part about it Carl Sagan and the geniuses that put it together they actually made instructions <laughs> that they're the smartest people in the world that made instructions that any species could understand so that they could play the records on the record player. You know, what's interesting about that gold record is that it's, it's probably the only gold record that only has had two copies made. Yeah, it only sold two. That's right. And it went gold straight away. <laughs> <laughs> That's a better version of that joke, actually. <laughs> it's all right. I knew how to translate it because I followed instructions for idiots. <laughs> Thank you very much. I played the idiot there. <laughs> Simon, thanks for your time tonight. Interesting stuff. Thank you.